games we love. Mickey Mouse Fushigi no Kuni no Daiboken on the Famicom. In the United States, this game was called Mickey Mouse Capade and was filled with bland, reskinned enemies, which really didn't make much sense. In the Famicom version, you get to fight enemies from Wonderland and Neverland, including Captain Hook, which makes this version of the game 1,000 times better. In all honesty, this short platformer can be pretty tough, especially if you mess up like I did and miss getting Minnie's power-ups. A lot of the power-ups in this game are hidden around the levels. The game is unique in that Minnie is your companion. Sometimes you can use her attacks to hurt enemy bosses while you're in a different part of the stage, but I missed out on that in this run-through, which made the bosses way more difficult, and I actually needed to come up with some insane strategies to beat them. She essentially mirrors your moves like the Ice Climbers in Super Smash Bros. But honestly, she gets in the way or kills you by missing jumps more often than not. Speaking of jumps, I had one hit of health left at the final boss and had to perfectly sync jump to beat the queen, celebrating the insane win with my kiddos when I beat her. This was a wild moment. While the game itself isn't anything to write home about, it is an interesting example of how the United States versions of games and the Famicom versions of games have differences. It can be a great gateway to discover a new layer to the NES and bridge the gap to the Famicom. And that's why it's a game we love. Thank you so much for watching this Games We Love video. Please check out the playlist for all sorts of other games we love. If you like Mickey Mouse, I've done one on Castle of Illusion on the Genesis as well. Please check out the link tree in the description where you will find the website, art, podcasts, merchandise, and all sorts of other great stuff. Thanks again.